student hello students welcome to nefham free lessons channel with professor muhammad ali let's start science term first term for prime four and the first question now is what is matter why matter is matter if you look around you everywhere you can find matters everywhere the chair you sit on the desk the walls everything around you means matter so you ask a question what is matter we will know now what matters it is everything that has a mass and occupies a space that means volume so matter it is everything that has a mass and occupies a space have a volume so now you know what is matter everything around you means matter because everything have a mass and have a volume so what is mass it is the amount of matter in an object so i will say it again mass it is the amount of matter in an object so you have a mass that means the amount of uh, blood and flesh and bones in your body means that it is your mass so it is the amount of matter in an object that means mass what is volume is volume it is the space occupied by a matter it is the space occupied by a matter so that means volume everyone have a volume everything have a volume because it is space it is the space occupied by a matter every matter have a space and that means volume volume equal length multiply wide multiply high so if you want to calculate the volume of anything you can multiply length and wide and the high of that thing so you can calculate volume by this way If you look to this table, you can find mass and length and volume. So we will compare between them. We will know measuring tools and measuring units. Let's start with mass. Measuring tools. We use common balance and sensitive balance to measuring mass common balance and sensitive balance what about measuring units for mass we have ton and kilogram and gram so we, c we can use uh, measuring units for mass we have three measuring units ton kilogram gram now we are going to lens measuring tools we use measuring ruler and the graduated tab so if you wanna measuring lens you can use measuring ruler and graduated 
tab and your measuring units for length is kilometer meter and centimeters I will say it again kilometer meter and centimeters and we go to the volume so the measuring tools of the volume is graduated cylinder graduated cylinder and the measuring units of volume is liter milliliter and cubic centimeter so we use liter and milliliter and cubic centimeter for volume states of matter we have three states of matter solid state liquid state and gaseous state so we have three states of matter and we will know each of them if you look to this picture you found three states of matter solid states and liquids and gaseous and gaseous states look uh, to the left of the picture you found the examples of the solid state you can find head pencil skateboard snow apple treehouse computer bicycle table this is solid state and the middle you find liquids examples for liquids you can find water in pool you can find milk you can find drink juice soup hot chocolate and rain this is the examples of liquids you can see around you at the right of the picture you can see wind air hot air balloon and wind from fan wind fog steam all of them are examples of gases state oh yummy an ice cream but it is melting so what is the reason of that why ice cream melt all the time we will know the meaning of melting now melting means it is the change of matter from a solid into a liquid state by heating so if you have anything in solid state like ice or ice cream and by heating so it is changing from solid state to liquid state by heating that the meaning of melting I will say it again melting it is the change of matter from a solid into a liquid state by heating now we are moving to the other definition condensation we will know what the meaning of condensation so condensation that means if you have a matter from a gas state and changing with you to the liquid by cooling that means condensation so we can say condensation it is the change of matter from gaseous state into liquid by cooling again condensation it is the change of matter from gaseous state into liquid by cooling freezing as you see in the picture this is an ice so what the meaning of freezing 
we will know the meaning of freezing freezing it is the change of matter from a liquid state into a solid one by cooling so if you have water in liquid state and you put it in the refrigerator for a while it will change to the solid state by cooling so freezing it is the change of matter from a liquid state into a solid one by cooling evaporation you want to know what the meaning of evaporation so we will say it evaporation it is the change of matter from a liquid state into a gaseous one by heating that mean evaporation so when you boil water you can see that water changing from the liquid state to the gaseous state and that mean evaporation so it is the change of matter from a liquid state into a gaseous one by heating so I wanna ask a question what the meaning of element element it is a structural unit of matter or you can say it is the simplest form of matter so element is the simplest form of matter or you can say it is the structural unit of matter